hello guys this is USB and right now I'm going to show the program which I made using C++ with SFML multimedia library it is uh, its full form is simple and fast multimedia library uh, so the thing it does is uh, I do a, did a comparative analysis between Jagastra algorithm for pathfinding and a star algorithm for part finding okay uh, so uh, i did it similarly like we do the designs of games like there's a uh, game loop and uh, like here uh, uh, you can see uh, here i will show you um, here it's a game loop here you can see uh, it is a game loop which works uh, until the window is open or not okay so i am going into the ui directly uh, so basically uh, for the algorithm or the coding part i would say that um, i divided the uh, program into three parts uh, one is uh, jacastras algorithm uh, another is a star and the rest is the main loop and the uh, the way which we call uh, one another by is by multi threading so here i give a button for jagastras algorithm so and here a star algorithm uh, and here you will see that uh, it is the source and uh, this point here is the destination okay this point here is the destination and these uh, black things are the uh, obstacles by which uh, the path cannot go okay uh, so right now i am uh, drawing some obstacles for this okay I did some obstacles okay huh? mm, I did uh, I make some obstacles um, by clicking or unclicking you can make obstacles uh, so uh, basically it is a grid version uh, there are two implementations of Jikastras uh, and A star one is grid based and another is graph based uh, so grid based is that uh, every cell in this gra grid has eight nearby neighbors uh, uh, east west north south north east and like others the four uh, so each neighbor has eight neighbors uh, so the implementation is done like that uh, each uh, while this cell uh, for the jacastras algorithm uh, this cell starts searching for uh, it starts updating its uh, neighboring cells huh? and then again the neighbor cells uh, start to search for the uh, destination and this continues and the uh, uh, and the explored region which i would show in yellow would increase all over this map till it reaches this point okay so when i click this jikastras button uh, here we can see the length of the part uh, and so first i will click the uh, the stress button okay so in the background I give music okay please ignore that okay so ignore that uh, so here are 61 steps in these uh, okay and so it is the shortest path of length 61 uh, so we can cut 1 2 3 4 uh, up to 61 steps uh, so, and next time I will start with a star algorithm okay next I will show you uh, so I will I'm right now going to show you the explored region so the explored means the region which it's covered to detect whether uh, it reaches up to the destination or not are mentioned in these well, are mentioned by yellow number and this green cells is the length so 61 is the length okay so when we start a star algorithm it will also show you the 61 number because the heuristics behind a star is uh, uh, is underestimating the shortest path uh, what it, it is mean by understating under uh, um, uh, uh, the heuristics is that it underestimates uh, which can be sure that the distance between this point and this point is directly uh, so while calculating the heuristics the uh, distance or the heuristics function is calculated by the euclidean function means the shortest distance between the two uh, means the difference of fcs are squared minus plus the distance of ordinate squared under square root so that would be the euclidean uh, 
uh, heuristics function so when I would uh, click on the A star uh, it would show uh, it would it, it is just an implementation of Jekyll's thrust in addition to the heuristic function so its time would be less but you won't be able to see the uh, explore region at, as the explore region of A star are also covered in uh, yellow but in the next uh, we, uh, in the next uh, iteration I will show you so right now you can only see the time limit and whether it is giving the optimal 61 part or not uh, as I am saying it is under estimating the uh, shortest path so you can see that it would give okay let's click a star okay it, it is given the 62 steps okay why it is giving the 62 steps uh, it should give the 61 steps. This is the first time I saw that it is giving the 62 steps. Okay, I will check it why it is giving 62, but it should give 61 steps in order to be short. Okay, there are some changes I have made, I think that would be reflecting, but uh, it should also give the 61 steps. Okay, uh, so but the time is very fast. Uh, in in some things, uh, like I, I will show you again, uh, like. Uh, a star uh, need not to be give the fastest uh, uh, it, it would give the fastest part it not need to get the op optimal path uh, when the heuristics is not underestimated but right now I think I made some changes which are reflecting I would not going to check right now but I will check it after this video why that it is giving so right now we like to see uh, these boxes won't make any changes okay let's add something yeah i'm also going to give one functionality like uh, we can drag it we do not need to click it okay but right now i am doing it for my project and making it as minimal as possible okay how much time i've passed seven minutes i think i have eight minutes more okay so let's click and the a star and let's see what it is giving okay you can see it how fast it is 71 and by Jika stars let's see how okay it took time it took time and you can check it right now uh, okay so it is also giving 71 steps uh, right now it is giving 71 steps in the previous I don't know okay so it is giving 71 straight means a star is fast better than Jekastra and it is uh, also giving the optimal path so it is shown here that it is giving the uh, it is faster and it is giving the optimal path uh, in the next video I will uh, add some room for the dynamic obstacles there are various methods to add uh, dynamic uh, um, to uh, response for the dynamic, ob dynamic obstacles mean the video obstacles uh, the main thing with the main algorithms I would say that you can check out the recalculation uh, local repair algorithm uh, splicing algorithm okay these two are the uh, various one and there is another interesting thing which is known as cooperative path lighting. Uh, you can also check that out okay so these are the two functions which I want to show uh, okay uh, if you have any doubt please mention in the comment section uh, I will try to solve them thanks for the video please let me know in the comment what you want in the future okay peace out